Now, now that Lil Dirk is in jail, and everybody seems to think that the guy from Chicago who allegedly wore this wire is the reason why they're in jail. Well, I'm going to give you a different angle. What about Brick Baby? Brick Baby is the only one who has connections to all these people. Nicole Fegan, Pee Wee Longway, Quando Rondo, since they all are in wheelchairs. But not Pee Wee, I don't know what he is. Listen, pay attention. This woman right here, Nicole Fegan, had already been arrested. I did a video about six months ago where she had already been in jail and caught up on a drug case with another black man, and she went to jail and in some kind of way she became a lawyer. I've already said that I always thought that she was working with the authorities. This is just my opinion. She goes to jail in Atlanta, but no one covered it except myself and one, one more YouTuber. She goes to jail, fell off the radar. You can't find her ass in jail. You can't find her inmate number because she is probably working for the feds. And they will let people get out of jail and drop their cases and become lawyers the same way Quando Rondo just made that video and his indictment is sealed and he's also out of jail but doing pretrial, some type of pretrial stuff. Now, the man got caught on a drug conspiracy. He agreed to plead guilty. Look it up on the news. He just pled guilty to a lesser charge. The indictment is still sealed and he allegedly is out on pretrial saying he has no beef with nobody. Lil Dirk, who was charged in Atlanta for that murder, all of a sudden said everybody deserves a second chance. Now, I'm not going to upload the federal indictment, but other people have uploaded. Even that channel called The Family. You can go and look at the paperwork on his channel, which he does very good work. There's a clause in the paper that says, Lil Dirk said that he... Everybody deserves second chances, and he's no longer a felon. How the hell can someone who was a felon and a gang member pop up out of nowhere, leave Atlanta without any criminal charges against them? The same way Quando Rondo mysteriously pled guilty to a lesser charge on a gang conspiracy, that he was on a gang conspiracy when they did that sweep of all of those crips that were rolling around in wheelchairs in Atlanta after Brick Baby kept going back and forth between California and Atlanta, and he was friends with Pee Wee Longway. First, Nicole Fegan, the lawyer, got arrested. Pee Wee Longway got arrested about three weeks ago with, a, with his group of people and some more crips in Atlanta. But the people in LA, as I said before, still haven't went to jail. And Brick Baby allegedly got caught with a gun and he popped up out of nowhere claiming he got out of jail. Who the hell do you know that's a convicted felon on a federal case that get out of jail with a fucking gun charge? It doesn't happen. You go right to jail. You cannot be a felon with a gun, let alone an AK-47, a Tech 9 an M1, or any of those military-style weapons. You know, there are people who are doing life because they are two or three-time felons with the feds just for gun charges. Now... I know Gabe Banks, B-A-N-K-S, and Dirk Banks. I don't know if Gabe Banks, who's the former deputy district attorney down there in Fulton County, you know the one that I talk about all the time on my channel that I just absolutely can't stand. You know the one that's part of the reason why Young Thug is in jail. The one that they said went over there with those people and $150,000 mysteriously came up missing out of Young Thug house or wherever it came from, uh, allegedly. Gay Banks, Gay Banks, and, Fort and Fanny Willis, in my opinion, are two crooked ass people. Gay Banks just mysteriously stopped being a deputy district attorney over gangs and drugs, and he popped up and became a went into private practice. Oh, but that doesn't mean that he may not be the reason why Dirk Banks did beat that, got all those charges dropped after they had that murder for him at King Vine. Then Brick Baby went on the internet and said, "Free the shooters." They can't say Sly for Vine no more. That's the video that he did with Poet and Flacco. 
I don't know if they was on No Jumper, because I don't watch No Jumper. They was on one of those shows, but I know he was talking to Poeta Flacco. He said, they can't save Sly for Vaughn no more. Big Baby is a dry snitch, and I believe he is a government informant, just like I believe Big U is a government informant, because everybody is riding around with wheelchairs, except Cowboy Big U and Cowboy Big U and Big Baby all seem to be having so much static. And Black Sam, I'm not saying Black Sam is a government informant. I think he's a target. I don't think he's an informant. I think all three of the motherfuckers work together, and I think they sit right there and watch Eric Holder die because I believe that somebody with a lot of money that's not even that's uh, in jail right now probably was the reason either Jay Z or Puffy or somebody big like that put their ticket on his head because Diddy. Uh, Diddy and Dipsy had been stuck over in that house for two weeks while Dipsy was running around there looking like he was high as a test pilot and his hair was all over his head and Cowboy was up there making videos that I put on my channel when he was complaining about finding a restaurant, thought that Black Sam and Dipsy was going to pay for it and all of a sudden he said he ended up working in a restaurant. He said Dipsy was his little loke. He said he the one who taught Dipsy everything. Cowboy wanted to be a rapper. He stood in that burger place and let him get his brains blowed out in the middle of the parking lot that he owned that same clothing store where he opened that same restaurant where um, Quan, um, Cowboy claimed to go inside and be ordering a hamburger, whatever the fuck he claimed he was doing. Nobody wanted to talk about the other people that got shot, including that man that had just allegedly got out of jail. Let me tell you something. For a couple of million dollars, these motherfuckers would cross out their mama because they never had nothing. That's why Kanye West, let me say, that's why I believe Kanye West's mama dead and he didn't say nothing because she was too black and he was ashamed of his mama. That's why he went and married somebody like Kim Kardashian. Why Candace Owens keep running around her making all these excuses for his alleged R-A-P-I-S-T ass. Kanye West is accused of raping somebody too, just like Diddy. So I don't know why Candace Owens keep on being bamboozled and hoodwink. All I know is that Brick Baby, in my opinion, and Lil Dirk, because Lil ba Brick Baby said the cross is nothing beats the cross but the double, nothing beats the cross but the double cross and the triple cross. That means, yeah, Dirk. You could be a snake and you could be a snitch. And I could be acting like I'm your friend, but I will cross your motherfucking ass out because you're not from California. That's what I get from when Brick Baby was talking because he said, fuck OTL, fuck all these people. Nobody's going to treat him like he's less of a man. That's what he say because he be high as a test pilot and always rumbling off at the mouth. But Brick Baby went to jail and still haven't showed nobody how the fuck he beat that gun charge. Just like Dirk popped up out of nowhere and used those credit cards and had his manager, according to the FBI, if that's true. It's not a, according to them. Digital credit cards can be tracked anywhere. If you do any kind of crime on a credit card, it could be tracked. And whoever that person, oh, I, I'm going to say this. I saw this on only the, fam, uh, the family network. I think that's the name is child, the family. He uploaded the paperwork and it says something to the effect of, if I'm not mistaken, I'll be, I'm not sure. I think I heard, read something about Dirk had booked three different flights to different countries, Miami and two other countries, and U.S. Customs, this is what the paperwork said, U.S. Customs alerted the three letters, not somebody wearing a wire. U.S. Customs will always alert the, the police, the government, whenever you're going out the country and you're on the record, first of all, he already had an indictment when he did that concert. According to the paperwork, he had got indicted on the 16th or something. The day before, two days before the concert. Nicole figured a lawyer in jail for all type of shit. With gangs, some type of organized gang stuff. She goes to jail, all of a sudden, Pee Wee Longway getting locked up with some gang stuff. Then some more Crips that was in wheelchairs, just like Quando Rondo got locked up. After Quando Rondo had already been in her first original sweep of all those wheelchair people. Uh, you guys got to look this up. Quando Rondo indictment is still, his, his indictment is sealed. When people have the indictment sealed, it's because nine times out of ten, they are cooperated with the police. If you guys don't know anything about the 
federal system, then of course you're going to believe everything these people on YouTube that probably never been to jail or they've been to the county jail or whatever. They think they know everything, just like they, just like Dirk Banks. I told you guys, when they kicked him out of Atlanta and dropped those charges, I said, as soon as they get his ass back to Chicago, they're going to charge him. They're going to be on him. Everybody want to act like that man who baby mama got, who his child's mother allegedly lost her life is a war and a war. Do anybody know if he is one and why? Do anybody know if Dirk ever set him up? I guess nobody find it odd that Brick Baby made a song with Dirk right after Quando Rondo cousin got murdered. And if according to those people in the indictment that I'm not going to upload on my channel, Dirk allegedly offered the people money and a record contract. And then Big Baby had a whole lot of money. I keep telling you guys, he had a video right after the incident happened talking about how much money he get. He was down there somewhere with Lil Durk. Yeah. Lil Durk has to either go to jail. He's the dumbest criminal ever. Brick Baby, this is my opinion. I believe the cross was the boss and the triple cross crossed all these motherfuckers out. I believe it was a bunch of rats working with each other, trying to cross each other out. Dirk tried to become a Muslim because he already knew that he had a warrant out on him. He thought he was going to outsmart everybody. And I'm going to tell you what they fit to catch his ass. Um, according to the men of the family, according to the paperwork, according to U.S. Customs, Dirk had booked a ticket for a sent, I mean, booked a one-way passenger to go to Italy. Was there one person that he, was the person he sent over to Italy? Was that India? Because no one has seen her yet. If India is listening to you over in Italy, bitch, you better as well pack your motherfucking bags because they're going to use you as a government witness and they're going to get them for trying to upset, obstruct justice if you knew anything. And you know she knew something because she was in that house that time when those feds kicked in. They pretended that those OTF members escaped. Out the backyard. You guys remember that? And then they had DJ Academics talking to him live. DJ Academics going to have his dumb ass caught on this indictment. India Royal is going to have a dumb ass caught on this indictment. That man, if he did worldwide, I don't never advocate snitching. But if you are a snitch and you're trying to cross somebody out, you cannot get mad at them for snitching on your ass and crossing you out. Because the government would do that. They would say, oh, why are you protecting Dirk Banks? I just want to know, people in Atlanta, if Dirk Banks is actually related to Deputy District Attorney Gabe Banks, who happened to coincidentally um, leave his post right around that time, during that time when that murder, you know, when, uh, right around that time that Dirk Banks got found not guilty and he went into a mysterious private practice, wouldn't it be something if Dirk Banks is some kid to Deputy District Attorney Gabe Banks, who's also a private lawyer, who his wife works in Fannie Willis' office? Wouldn't that be something? But I would be surprised because Fannie Willis' daddy was lying like he was a black panther the whole time he acted like he worked for those people. Fannie Willis, Fannie Willis, and Dirk Banks, and Dirk Banks, and Gabe Banks. Gabe Banks, Dirk Banks. Gabe Banks is from the, he's a black blue lady just like um, Sean Diddy Combs. He be hanging around a lot of white people. And y'all always think he for the black people. Dirk, uh, Gabe Banks. Wife is black, but he hang around a lot of white people. And I know that for a fact. And they are not police. That's why his ass running around there thinking that those Masons going to protect him. But his ass is going to end up losing his law license. Just like Nicole Fegan. But Nicole Fegan may not lose us because she may be a government informant. Just like uh, the rest of these people. Pee Wee Longway brought a white ass to Atlanta. Uh, what I was going to say. Quando Rondo. I think Quando Rondo... Snitched on these, I think, Quando Rondo cooperated. Little Pap is dead. Man, he young, so if he decided he don't want any peace, if all of you guys are snitching, y'all should be happy because dirt. I have no sympathy for nobody that's told on dirt because, first of all, it's too many people lost their lives. And the day he went on on a rant and disrespected FVG Duck Mother like he did, whether she was being ignorant or whatever, there was a lady that's old enough to be his mother, but he disrespected his own mama. He plus he didn't take care of his son Romeo. His ass need to be in jail. And another thing, if you don't, if he don't deserve to be in jail for nothing more than having those blind dreadlocks in his head, wearing that motherfucking let me not say that. Dirk had the nerves to try to act like he was a Muslim, like he's some type of Sunni Muslim, a Shiite Muslim. 
that he got his, uh, you know, from over in Dubai with that dress on with some blonde locks. His daddy should have smacked the shit out of him because you know good and damn well that Muslims don't color their hair. It's nowhere in the world he was giving his life over to Allah, wearing that long dashiki or whatever it was with some blonde ass dreadlocks on a black man. Muslims don't even color their hair. And you know that especially Muslim men have a good day.